That's just going to be There's no one there. That's a nice one. The bottom shoulders open to the cheek. Take a nice little bit of energy there. And as we exhale, we know the shoulders and the chest. Think about this. Back. Push your mid cage into the imaginary wall. Push your lower back into the middle. Then lean forward, up and over as we stretch or lay in the side to go. And find that. And as we hang down over the legs, we take a breath in. And as we get something slowly back up, something is over, then it will get set and have the fun to take. So the head and the arms are free, and the thumb does the work of the legs. Okay, I'm going to hold you for our shoulders back. Same as before. I think it will be breathing in. And we'll push your rib cage back and ground the hips. Ground the shoulders. Then the arms hang. And if you roll down the legs, from the tail to the neck. All the way down, bring the legs down over the legs. Think about the back of the legs, you get the arms, and you do this. We take a breath in, and as we exhale, we lift back up, roll your back up to the same time. Good, all the way to the middle. Working through your legs. Think about picking up that heavy back of the legs, using your legs, using your bum, using your stomach, as we lift it in that core. And once again, as we come back to the top, the chest will open. That. And we lift the arms one more time. In it. And we lift the shoulders. And allow the muscles to lift the arms. And as we lean and lift, we don't want to drop these in. And as you lift the neck, feel the ground, the neck. And we hang back on the last side, both of those legs. Good, that's in the neck. Turn your legs side to side. Turn us to the legs and up the neck. That was fair. And as you're in the legs, sit. We put the hands onto the floor. We walk forward. Two or three steps out in front of us. And as you push your head through, you just put that stretch in the back. So, yes, guys, it's a side stretch. You want to find the flat in the back and get that feeling on. You're going to get this now by to the ceiling and almost arching the nose. Uh, and we're going to be in like the And change the other one. And change. So we're alternating these. And change. And change. Good. Last two. Last two. And as we push both of you back down, we hold back to the back. Make a nice arch. You can bring the knees, eh? To get that arch on your And now we lower the knees down to the legs. So as we add the toes, we sit back on the feet and stretch the arms towards the front of the feet. Good. And then we sit back in that shell set. Remember, this is an active resting position. So you still live in the belly button. Try to balance the spine. So we can tell by the end of the heart. Good. And let it come up. Let's relax around straight away. Let's take a seat. Good. As we do the knees, we can sit up nice and straight if we just look at front of each. That way, we know you've got the knee to the space behind you to pull back down. The back is. And the arm turns. And we turn it. Two rounds. One over one over. Think about that round. In this, we roll through this. We can leave the other one. We sit. It's supposed to be working together. We're supposed to be speeding out of the thighs. We're back in the bar behind you. The legs are hips, not just sitting on the floor. We're reaching our arms to the Don't bring the arms down next to the And as we do, we bring the knees, we bring the feet up. Stay with us and sit up. Okay. Okay. Good. Are you supposed to? Arms by the side. There we go. Push through the feet. So to the tail. Rolling up through this one and then through the neck. Yes. So correct your neck and by the shoulders pushing back. So that you're lying with your neck to the tail as long as you can do. 
who saw it told the tell. When you make a new tail of soft lungs, and then you stuck away through the tissue to go far away, we reached the front and we looked and we said, One last time, just like that. Good luck, we need to have a good box. Reaching forward and stay. Now, we're going to time this so that as we roll down, we look at it. Okay, so tell them. Don't try to keep the, the feet where you don't have the weight there. So, think first, let's take the little heels. Yes, or maybe I need to go a little bit more. Yes, and then lift the little heels. Feet together, knees together, head up, head up, let's go. In two, three, four, five. If you want to switch your legs to that. Good. How do you do? Five pounds. Five pounds. Remember, we're going in five. Four, five. Yeah. Two, 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 and pause, so let your feet fall in, and then the knees place down. You lift the arm, and then you reach all the way behind the knee. Now you go up, and you skip the hands all the way up. And then you can do that, some arms should be the arms as well. Let's circle the arms around the foot, as they sweep the lift of the head, and that hands are just. You lift the arms up, you lift the back of the object as you take the arms over again. Try to keep your back of the object and then eventually you have to stick it inside. You get a bit of a chip in the shoulders, your hands back to the arms. And you open the circle of the arms around the arms. One step a little bit. Pitch and straight. Last time, sink the ribs, shoulders, leg. Now, feel like the neck is right. Take the arms slowly over. See if you can look towards it. Stop to the knees. Yeah, so the back of the knees. Feel that back over. Try to see the chest holding the hands to the chin. And very slowly, open arms, and circle around. And for the last time, we lift the head, and spur it towards the back, go to the knees, get the side of the way, and reach the head, and the stretches. Go to the left, and head back down. And we start on the lower, so we can reach forward, and suck back, and then reaching over to the knees to finish. Let's add the back and legs, try our class, so it's a bit easier to say, okay? Then there's another spot. Go, you go down the strap with that band on the post. Relax your arms and lift your shoulders and the hands. Move your arms. Remember, start from the tail and from the knee to look down, tuck under, and then suck the side of the back. And as you pull away, we round. Get as round as you can. And as we go to the floor, we start from the knee. Now we want to flat it, neutral spine, so no arch and no impulse, just in the middle. We lift the head, we lift the toes. And as we keep looking down the body, we allow the arms to reach up, pulling the chest off the floor, then the ribs, then the last of the hands, slowly up to the top. Finish once again, we go high, up, come high. Keeping the eyes on the body together. Allowing the arms to stay behind. Remember the heavy button to lift up the arms. Allow the arms to stay behind. Now, give them that neck turn. Eyes go. I should be looking to the windows in front of you. So, keep in the neck. Eyes are angry forward. And we look. Yes. Push down. Anchor the spine to the floor. And then lift the neck, shoulders. 
Good. Exactly. Nice. And we come back up. And to finish, if you'd rather keep the band, it's a choice. If you're not, of course. I'll have it here. Door class, theme side. You want to go with the band? I'm going to put something in there. Yourself, so yeah, well, fine. What are you doing? And if you don't have a band, it's on the ceiling. As you can breathe, the secret of the head. And you think so. Yeah, what do you do? Each your over the head. And breathe. Good, like the way of breathing, I'm just the blow Yes, and try to blow back. It is as as it We let the And we should we keep our skin in the inside so that we can push down and keep the leg and work as a team. And we reach over the top to finish. Good, one last time. The neck and the tail of the third. Very little bit of ease. We give it your pelvis and time. So, what applies in one exercise needs to apply in the next. Don't forget about it. You turn it on and you can see it. Long neck in the back. Should have a little bit of chin. We lift the head and look at belly button. Now, keep your neck like that. Tuck it right in and roll through the spine. One verse at a time. Keep your neck tucked in. All the way, like you started, chin on the chest, chin on the chest, reach forward. Yes, Jenny, more chin on the chest. Yes, that's your name. Good. Let's place the band again onto the right foot. Ends up in your legs circles. Focus the straight foot. Now, with this, we can lift the other foot down to the ring. Yes, do you remember? Tell me, tell So, now you're going to get of the day, then this is the filter. Rounds only when your lower back is on the floor to set. Remember the importance of that day and the importance of the day. Look at the next year, so you should come in the rest of the day, in the rest of the shoulders. That lady is everything. Okay, now, as I said in that rest of class, if you feel that rolling or that when you move, it means that's what you're doing when you're lying on the feet. You just don't feel it when you're lying on the feet. But if you're aware of what you want to we circle the right leg over the right side, not too wide. We circle it down, we reach forward, we lift it back up. Okay, and again, as that right leg goes, I'm looking at your left hand, your left thigh, your left knee, your left foot. All the way. Let's go for two more. So if you feel like you may be going a little bit wide. Let's move in. Just take a circle to the One last time. Okay. Control the anchor and we change the direction. We go across. Now be careful. Go down and don't go too wide. Open and side and and again. Now leg. But then you need to improve. Everyone needs to be better. Improvement. Last one. Cross, down, round, lift, and pause. Go. Now you're going to be And stretch it. And again, as we bend, try and lower the bar. And as we stretch, we drop the toes to the face, push the heel to the toe. Two more. Bend and bend. And stretch and extend and ask your body for an extra city. Then last time, bend, bend, and exhale up and up and ask that body for an extra city bit of stretch. Good, we lift the head. And as we lower the leg, we bring both feet together. So, as I just said, we lower the leg and bring both feet together. Yeah, the one more or something like that. Together. There we go. There you go. Right in front of the 
go underneath the hip down, keep the bow on the floor, and feel the stretch from that hip bone. Ah, spine of the body. Then you lift the arm, you start there. Go, and go to the other side. Stand, lift up, stretch up, and then stretch over. Now lift the bum, push that right hand down. Good, and use the left elbow to push away a little bit. So you're completely collapsed, but lift up and over. Uh, and Shoulders and knees 
And then you just back down. So now you can pull all the spot. So now I'm going to take the knee. Away. So we have the knee. We have the shoulders. You don't have to have the back on the So now this section needs to be holding the mat. And we release. We back down. We have the last time to stay. So we lift it. We reach it forward. And slowly. Now I'm going to take away the feet. So we lift one. Take the feet away. Now, the only thing that is anything is just over there. You just use that down. You're going to be lifting the shoulder. Push me down into the foot. So your focus is down. And release that down to me. So we need to go lifting the knee. And if you can focus on pushing down the anchor, the rest will come naturally. Release arms, release the head. Last two, head and shoulders. And reach to the top. And try to reach for the front leg. It's been really And I uh, go down one last step. And as you pull and spring down the back, you put the hand in the left knee. You stretch the right leg. And we stretch. If you're not having that, you work with this one. And two. And three. So the hips are important. The lower back is important. And the higher you can go up, the more you can show it. Last two, last one, and we can let see. And we're going to start all the four. Use the mat. One foot down. Oh, I'm going to step down. Second one, four, Gary, and you're still now. And as you do this, now you're holding the mat. I hope you're following the narrative, the story that we're trying to create. So each foot, each piece of the body that touches the mat, you have more stability. And as we take parts of the body away from you, you lose the stability. That makes sense. Same as we do on the phone. Let's continue. Pushing into the floor, we hold. As we move one foot off the floor, now you only have one foot off. But now I'm going to take that foot off the floor as well. So now your spine has to hold, your arms have to hold. Yes. And as your knees come together, your inner thighs will always move. Lift the head. Oh, taking the shoulders and the well, now you only have that lower back. And the higher you can pick up, the more that lower back is going to have that security. So we stretch the arms and the head. We stir the arms, keeping the head looking at the front. And again, we get up and stretch. And so, and pitch. The higher you go, the higher you can get up. So, and then you've got two to go, ladies. Now you'll feel the Left. So, one foot down, we put up a little bit higher to support the spine. So the when the ceiling goes down, it's okay. If you're hitting that, can you see where one of them is in relation to your shoulders? Okay? You see those behind you, right? Yeah, the arms must never circle behind you. Just keep them here, and then keep them where you can see the line of the shoulder. Because the minute they go behind, what happens? Your chest comes out, your back arches. So I'm going to take the arms on the side, and the feet are going to be difficult to just keep that there. So I'm going to arch. Yes, so the arms will still stay in your peripheral vision. Inner thighs. I'm going to do that. Inner thighs, inner thighs. Let's go. Hold in the neck. And hold it to the city. And we look. We do the arm as we stretch both legs. We intensify the energy to the back. We lower one leg and fall. Good. Now, don't move. Hold the foot. Good. Now, oh, don't move. You must move. Just a leg up. And you Yes. Why? Because you are holding the foot. That is the anchor. Body in that part of the head. Good. Much better. So, as the legs move, the body stays still. If anything, you curl up a little higher so that you can intensify and deepen that head, pushing that lower back further into the last one. There's a chain. You let both the legs out of the skin. Oh, good. We're going to stand a little long. We're going to stand. Okay, both legs up and up. 
and then go through the stump. See that? Excuse me, over the legs and put your hands on your head and start scanning. Just feel that stretch. And then move back. Think about the stretch into the lower back. So you want to push back. Lift the top. Keep the hands there. Push your lower back into the imaginary way. Let's see the nice. Good. Yeah. We're going to come up. Swing the legs. We lie on the tummies. Now, here we go on the tummy, remember to do that. We just sign by lifting away from you. Feet can be open now. This is the only time. We lie on the tummy. Feet can be open. Face down. So we again lift the muscles to the top of you. We lift the leg. And as we lift the leg, we stretch both legs open. Now, remember, it's a stretch. So it doesn't need to be hard, but it needs to reach away. And we lay the back down to the back. Good. And again, lengthen. Just get your knees on. If you want to lift a little bit into the thigh, I'll sit to you. And release that down to the floor. Only two. Please, no work in the lower back. It needs to be bum, glutes, the rest of your relaxed. And release. Now, lengthen. And release. And now the legs are the same. We're going to lift the upper body. So, keeping the hands on the points, we lift them. Come on. Now, can we switch forward or the front edge of the mat? Love it. Done. And we repeat. Lift. Up. Relax the legs. Relax the arms. And release the knee. Draw some tight arms. What bubble bars? And we get the length of upper back, upper shoes. That's it. Yes. And then we start now. One last time. So we lift it. And we lift it off. And we lift it at times. Take the arms up. And we get the length of 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 all the shoulders back. Yes. All the shoulders back. Good. Arms are still there. And as we release, let the shoulders roll forward again. And we go. All the shoulders back. There's that activation. And we go. We put the last piece. And we release that down. We go twice more than ten minutes. Let the shoulders drop forward. And now we go. All the shoulders back. And we feel just that little movement. And push. Push that little movement and activate those muscles. And release that down. Relax completely. Do you get the shoulders drop off? Last one. Just the shoulders. Lift. Now we're going to stay. We lower the fingertips. We tap the floor. We lift them like that. Again, down. If you feel this in the lower back, please go lower. It should only be between the shoulder blades, back of the arms, up the back. And look, let's go for another four. And look, three, stretching touch of the fingers. Two, and lengthen. Last one, down. Lengthen, four. And we like Left hand comes under the face, right hand holds the left. And we just have to stretch. Remember to push the hips into the floor. Hips down to the floor, lift belly by the upper. So the postural positioning of the pelvis, that's the tongue. That is what's important for the stretch. It's not about how close you need to put to your bum. It's about the position of the pelvis. And release it straight around the pelvis. Good. If you need to, you can roll. Some length. For our slow position, thumbs. Thumbs. Just run forward into the hips. Lift the belly button forward to the And you'll feel the extra little strength.
This is for the scorpion, if you might have seen the text. You can take a bite off. Lift your right foot and just roll onto the left side. Okay, don't push it, don't go too far. And we can move to the And we bend the left and we roll onto the right side. Okay, so take a few arms, shoulder, and then we can move to the side. Good, keep it. And once you've got it, it's actually better to slow it a little bit. Then it's a hold. And check. So you guys feel all the And good. It's really awesome. Last over. Yeah. Finish the center and come and move the chest. And we just push and we round and come down into the shoulder step and round the back. And as we come up, we're going to come on to our knees. So over the left leg. Tuck the left knee in a little bit, but in the thighs, we actively work on the left and left twist to the left. Good. Let's go back to the center. Very good. Right. Don't let that knee go. Now the back of the back to the center. And as we look, we just look at the left arm, oh, go as far as you can. And we come back to the center. And you can watch me first. You can imagine that there's a ball. Okay, so we're going to start on this. We're going to touch the other two. Now, we're going to lift the leg up just as far as we do as we go. Here's the leg. And we go up. Back. And yeah. So we go. Let's go to the Yes. Now the wall is at your back. The pull it right on the back. And we go up the middle of the bottom. We twist to the left. As the end of the wall is here, we get up the wall and we look at the left elbow. As we now look at the left. We look at the left elbow. And now we go up. Yes, come in around, we come back to the little nice. And then we go down, lift our to the knee. Okay, so we're going to go up first. Then we lift and we twist to the upright position here and make it loose. Good, and then we go up with this elbow as we twist again. We got it, and we finish facing the right side. And we let it go. Good. Top our right Yes. Very okay, good. Let's change this. Does that make sense? So the wall was on your left, now the wall's on your right. But first, hands at the knee, and we just spread it to the right. Down to the knee. And we come to the center. And we just the left. And then now we have the center. Let's go one more time. So it's not so and then we can get it. So back to the center. And then the same on this side. There's a wall in front of the face, and there's a wall behind it. So I want to go back to the center. Right. So we've got the white right, right color to the knee. We lift up to the front. We can keep lifting as we lift the right color. We can tip the feet on the top as we go to the center. Let's this side. Now open the light shot. Yes. And we go. Lift the light up on that. So, as we twist back, open this. And we leave into the forward bend. Go. 